In this video, we will be rendering this curved balcony facade design in Enscape. If you are interested in learning more about Enscape, I recently launched an Enscape for Revit course, which you can check out on my website. The link is in the description. Now let's get started. So I have the project file open here. If you want to follow along, you can download this project file from my Patreon or you can check out my previous video where I showed how to model this facade design from scratch. So first we'll create materials in Revit for each object so we can easily edit them in the Enscape material editor. So now that I have finished creating the materials in Revit, let's start Enscape. We'll begin by setting up the camera view. First, let's reset the previous settings. And adjust the field of view. Now let's create the camera view. Make sure to link the same preset. Let's adjust the sun position. Of course we can always change these settings later on in the video. Now let's split both windows and start editing the materials in the Enscape material editor. I will go back to Revit and create two new materials for the grey wall and wood. Then we will apply them to the walls using the paint tool. and replace the materials with the Enscape materials. Currently we are using this food material but we will change it later on. Here I am applying the materials so I will speed up this part.
so i have applied the materials now let's quickly add the assets i will be using the assets from the inkscape asset library So I finished adding the assets. Now let's create the villa number plate. I will create a simple extrusion and then add model text over it. First, let's apply aluminum material to this extrusion. Now let's set the work plane on this extrusion and add a model text. I want to add numbers vertically, so we need to put it the same way in the model text dialog box. Now I am going to create a new material and check this self illumination. I will use the desk lamp lens from this drop down menu. Let's click OK. Now let's quickly add some lights to the scene. I will be using the lighting families from the blocks plugin. You will find the download link in the description. Once that's done, we can proceed with rendering the scene. First, I will readjust the camera view. Let's turn on the save frame so we can see which part will be rendered and set the output size. I will adjust the field of view accordingly. I will also adjust the sun position to suit the scene. In this video, I will be using the sky settings from Enscape. I will not be using any HDRI, so I will adjust the clouds accordingly.
let's go to the main tab and add some outlines 5% works fine next we will slightly increase the exposure in the image tab I will reduce the highlights shadows and saturation a bit I will also increase the color temperature for a cool effect I will keep the bloom effect at around 5% and remove all the other effects moving on to the atmosphere tab I will remove fog increase the sun brightness a little bit we don't have any artificial lights in this scene but I will increase the artificial light slider a bit since we have applied an LED material to the wheel of numbers now I think the scene is ready let's export it before exporting the rendering I will go to the main tab and just increase the rendering quality adjust the highlights and exposure slightly and change the file format to JPEG let's press ctrl plus one the shortcut key I set for exporting renderings the rendering is now exported let's take a look at it as you can see it turned out pretty good that's how quickly we created this cool rendering in Enscape for Revit that's it for this video I hope you have learned something new make sure to check out Enscape course on my website learnrevitonline.com or you can check out my other Enscape for Revit rendering workflow videos like this on my channel and if you found this video helpful please consider supporting my work on patreon your support helps me create new videos every week and yeah i will see you guys in the next video